Yo. Yeah. Man, before we go and kick this thing off, man, I need to give a special shout out to Silver Lake Ramen and Chino Hills. So good. Silver Lake Ramen so and Chino good. Hills. And not only was the food good, tell them about the, uh, the management, man. Man, a special, special, special shout out and thank you to the area director, Presh. She had such a bubbly personality. Her energy and vibe was outstanding. The food, great conversation, but let's go back to the food. She just made us feel like we were at home, really and, did. And the food was delicious. That was my first time having like a noodle meal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of like having some ramen at the house, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was cuisine. It was delicious. So, man, if y'all if ever get a chance, ever if you ever get a chance, come down to Chino Hills Silver Lake Ramen, man. It was on fire, man. I'll drop a little delicious. bit of it here. Yo, so, so apparently Texas is standing in the gaps as Biden lets the title 42 elapse. So Texas like, forget that elapse, we bucking. And that's what that sound like to me. Mm -hmm. We bucking. Because you, uh, you sleepy Joe and you letting stuff go run, a, you know, run amok. We're not going to let this run amok. And, now, and, I, and I feel it because that's your city. That's your area. And then you got everybody just flooding in. You that's truthful. You don't know where folks come from. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know what's going on with them people, and then they cutting through your yard. I, and I respect that. I I would stand in the gap too. I'd be bucking. I don't care who what who it is. We had people try to cut through our yard one time. Now wow. that was that didn't end well. You remember that? Yeah. So let's see what they talking about. Let's see what this, this what they talking about when they saying they crazy. cutting through the gaps. I, I want to get an understanding. But I want to say real quick, I'm so glad that states have their individual. Liberties, yes, yeah, their own laws that they can enact and go outside and sue, you know, the larger form of government. I'm so glad that we have you know, it set know, up, it's not like a it's set up like that way, tyrannical, shit. right? Yeah. Right, there is no more, it doesn't exist. Biden told us his phone app for illegals was going to tighten things up. Remember that migrants could just make a reservation to break into the country. Like open table for illegals? Do you have room for a party of 34 at 8 o'clock? Why, yes. Do you need a high chair? Why, yes, we do. We need six. Wow. Here's the problem. The app's busted. It's worse than the Obamacare website oh. because Joe isn't even trying to fix this. Yo. He has a new strategy. He's giving up on the app. You don't need a reservation to break into the country anymore. Now, it's first come, first serve. Illegals show up to the border. Biden lets them in. And then they disappear. Biden has ordered the Border Patrol not to track them. Yo. Biden has ordered the Border Patrol to not give them dates to show up at a hearing. Please. They're off the grid. Who's doing that? And this? the ones that do have hearings, you ready? There's a 10-year wait time. Stop. The next opening for an immigration hearing is June 2033. Hi, Columba. Wow. Pencil it into your calendar, Jose. Try not to schedule anything on June 1st, 2033. Now, Joe knows none of these migrants are showing up in court, and he knows they're not really fleeing violence because they wouldn't be fleeing to New York and Chicago. Man. Now, in a generation, Texas is going to be a Democrat state, and the Republican candidate for president's only going to be That's able to Texas. look at the White House from the outside. Oh. Every migrant... That's messed up there, because now I'm just zooming in. I'm like, oh, y'all already, y'all in, in. You ain't at the border no more. Y'all ain't. Yeah. through. Ooh. This I'm a, I, I, I'm kind of lost for words with that. Now that kind of set up, you know, where everybody's just bust doing it, just camp out in front of us. That's, that's messed up. I mean, I bet. You well, know, they I, right on the other side trying to get in. I don't know if they're in. No, look at that. They on the inside. It says, but they plan to stand in the gap. So the other but, day when we did the video, but, but that's a El Paso, Texas. That don't say that don't say um, Brownsville. Um, I mean, that don't say the border. That's they in. Can be just like the Bidens now. No one pays their taxes. But Biden <laughs> swears he's on it, and he's working around the clock, cutting deals with Mexico. Yes, I, I spent an hour with the president of 
Mexico yesterday. He's been very cooperative. We're in agreement. Oh, what a deal. We take in all the illegals and Mexico watches. <laughs> Biden's phone calls never work out. He calls Xi Jinping and they send a spy balloon. He calls the Saudis, they send him to voicemail. And he calls Mexico and they send a million more migrants. Wow. Anytime this White House says there's a deal being cut, things get worse. Remember wow. when Kamala went to Central America to look, track look down root that. causes? She cut some deals, sent them $4 billion and promised to open a target in Guatemala. Did that stop anything? No. A target. But Texas is doing something about it. Governor Abbott told the National Guard to put up some barbed wire to fill the gaps. Look wow. at that. Wow. It's actually been effective. He's trying to protect the state and the country. But That's my what I'm question, saying. But my question is. They ain't got over there yet. They standing in the gap. So they, they waiting. But it, I hope they don't try to bum rush. There's going to be a lot of people that might not make it. But look, how, how long are they going to have them wait there in front of the barbed wire? I don't know. Rotating shifts. But instead of saying thank you, the Biden team's trying to sue him. Listen. Really? we just seen some images from Texas showing Na Texas National Guard and DPS physically blocking migrants from uh, climbing up the riverbanks and accessing U.S. soil. Um, does the department believe that that's a legal enforcement posture by the state of Texas? Uh, Nick, um, I I'm going to leave it to the, our Department of Justice to, uh, to speak to the lawfulness or lack thereof uh, of those actions. Yeah, it's illegal to close the border. Greg Abbott's the governor of Texas who joins us now. So that wire looked effective. Do you have plans, Governor, to do more of that? I do, Jesse. Uh, we have deployed uh, some elite <laughs> National Guard teams uh, to respond to situations just like that. Uh, first, uh, to put up barriers, whether it be uh, the razor wire that you saw there or other barriers, and then have National Guard and Texas Department of Public Safety uh, either in front of it or behind it. Our goal is to repel people from coming in, into the country. We see locations like what was shown in that video, and whenever we see them, uh, we block it. Let me hearken back to December. There was a long line of migrants you know, outside of El Paso trying to get into El Paso. When I saw that line, we deployed a group like this to set up a, a massive razor mm -hmm. wire wall that's now 18 miles long. Wow. And overnight, the migrants stopped flowing at that location into El Paso. Really? We've seen this wow. work. We're going to repeat it as often as possible up and down the border. Good. You heard wow. the president say he was on the it's phone annoying. with the president of Mexico for an hour. Have you ever spent an hour on the phone with our president? Are they trying to cut it? So, Jesse, you may remember actually also in El Paso, uh, I spent about 10 minutes on the tarmac of the airport in El Paso when I handed the president a letter that had in it five different things he could do under current American law to stop illegal immigration overnight. He shook his head, but never responded to me. I've sent the president <laughs> eight letters. He, he has never, he's never responded to it. So Texas, to the full extent we can, we're taking matters into our own hands. Wow. So he ignores the American politician who's That's trying to work possible. with him. And then he spends an hour on the phone with Mexico, who's doing flat out nothing. I have to make a personal request. I know this shouldn't be about me, but it always is. You got to send these illegals to somewhere else besides New York because the traffic here is crazy. I was stuck behind a school bus full of illegal immigrants and their families for about 20 minutes. I almost missed the five today, Governor. Stop it. And maybe we maybe some buses can go to Chicago Stop or Philly. It. Not 20 minutes. So they're headed to Chicago. Uh, more than any other place, uh, they love Lori Lightfoot. Okay, good, good. Because it's getting a little Chicago filled up Lightfoot. here in Manhattan. And I'm hearing they might have to block off whole streets. And that's not going to fly. <laughs> I'm going to be late. Oh, that's New York. Uh, and, and we need to hear from me. The country needs to hear from me on time. You promise you're going to send no more buses here? No, sir. Thank there you. will be more coming. Go, there will be more going to New York. Philadelphia, Chicago, and other places across the country. One thing we're doing as we speak is loading up buses. They're en route to a location near you. Well, spread wow. well, I'm going to have across. to readjust my commuting plans, but we like the barbed wire. Obviously, that's effective. And try not to get sued by the Biden administration. Thank you very much, Governor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And again, it's nothing to do with the people that's mm -mm. coming over. Like I said, man. We, well, what we, about we, rock, the, listen, we rock with everybody. 
But we all have to do it the right way. We all have to do it the right way. And if we don't, then we have all this chaos. I mean, a plan should be put in place. So it impacts everyone in a positive way. Correct. And he failed to have a plan. Failed to have a plan. And now I'm getting mad because the states want to take things in their own actions to make it accommodatable for their citizens in Correct. their state. Correct. I mean, this is just unreal. And what's I think the biggest thing about those messed up, just of any nationality that comes through illegally, it is the um, tax the tax side. It's but how does that even benefit them? If you know that what so the resources that the resources that they're getting how you know what type of resources can they actually have and i know that was one of the things that the uh congressmen were speaking on is that you know the resources yeah in place what do you mean like how i mean so if you're taking away resources like unplanned resources or extended resources from your own citizens who are paying citizens who pay taxes then and you're helping another you know another group give me an example of a resource like education housing you know food water employment you know all of these things are resources for people to be able to use to better themselves in society that was one of the the major you know parts well that was one of the major things that i heard one of the congressmen say Hmm. Okay. So planning and extending resources, you know, are great. But what about some? What about the people here who are struggling, who are homeless, who lack education, right. who, you know? Do we just keep building that back up? We keep just getting more of that. I don't know, man. Because some people from that were uh, immigrants will come out here and be successful. Some people will not be successful. Some people will be, you know. Will have you know probably have family or connections there, and then some people will be on the street, and then now the people that's been on the street, you're just adding more to the people on the street. But it's I don't know I I'm, I'm not with coming in the wrong way, and then and then it's all free to you, and then we got to pay all this, you know. It's like man, you could. You might, but the mere fact that he said he had a plan, he gave it to him, and he was just like, okay. That's it. This is all Biden's fault. This is all his fault. So he, you got plans coming from your people that's in office, that's getting paid to do these things, and you don't even want to take tried, the plan? He tried. This is how you know how he was not for blocking that, because he didn't even answer the letter of the governor of uh, um, Texas. He didn't even answer his letters. Right. He had no end. He wants them to bust through. Mm. But the problem is... Biden would not let them come near him. He gonna make sure he heavily guarding people around him. He could do all this and that, but he gonna go in the end after his presidency. He gonna go off into the woodwork where he live. Ain't gonna be around none of that. Cause you want to look like the people's champ and the people's choice. So, no, no. Yeah, that's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Let's come on to the election. Come on, election. It's coming. Come on, election. We got what? Ooh, Next November? Oh, my gosh. That's still way too long. That's a long time. Oh, my gosh. That's a long time. Help. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen. We ain't judging. Just, Just saying. saying. Just saying. Just saying. All right, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nosedive. Comment down in the section below. If you won't. Some more. Hello. Dang. What's that? What? It is very ashy and crusty. Let me smell it on there. <laughs> All right, man. See you on there.